quick crypto, bringing you quick Casper news. Yeah, I know, I made a video 13 days or so ago talking about the possibility, or should I say the inevitability, of an imminent Binance spot Casper listing. But information and speculation is constantly circulating and we now have numerous new sources of information that Binance will be listing Casper very, very soon this year, potentially, which is massive. Our first source comes from Google. If you type into Google upcoming Binance listings 2024, right at the top, it suggests Casper, meaning out of all the possible listings, Casper is the most likely. Next up from the Casper enthusiast showcases an article on a more credible source, Binance Square. And in that article, it states that Casper is one of the top 10 projects that could be listed on Binance this year, 2024, which is even more bullish news. And then finally, we have this interesting post from Cryptographer, how to recognize bots 101, as you can see from the chart here. It seems that Casper price recently in the last 24 hours is being manipulated through botting. And one of the reasons this is done is for exchanges to try and ping pong the price for as long as they possibly can so they can gradually accumulate liquidity for their order books once they decide to officially announce they are listing Casper. Now, of course, this one is more speculation as he states there's no way really to know for sure, but the logic in my opinion is very, very sound. And I'll leave a link to all the information I show you in this video, every source in the description below if you want to do your own research. But these three pieces of information alone is massive, massive news. One from Google, one from Binance Square, and then also from Cryptographer. All three increasing the speculation, rising the speculation of an imminent Casper listing on Binance, which is massive, massive news. But that is not all, because I will do you one better. I will give you one myself. As we can see from Caspolytics, their website here, the hash rate is finally on the move once again. After being stuck at 20% for the past two weeks, I think it was now, this is incredibly bullish. 23.32% is speeding up very, very fast. And this, as to the credibility of all the information I just showed you, the possibility that Binance is gearing up to list Casper soon. The simple way to understand why it's because this migration is known as a hard fork, meaning that the project is undergoing a change. Hard forks, understandably, can be dangerous. You are at your most vulnerable when making a hard fork, meaning you may be susceptible to hacking or the code you're trying to change to may not work as intended. So for this reason, Casper has been taking their time to gradually ensure everything's going smoothly by, you know, make sure the migration goes at a slow pace, not just doing it all in one go, which is why they stopped at 20% for a while before they're now continuing. And for this reason, exchanges will likely be less likely to announce or want to list Casper right now because if something goes wrong, they will lose a lot of money as Casper will tank. So my point, of course, is once this migration is done, which is gonna be done sooner than you think, this hard fork, once it's done and we are on the superior Rusty Casper, and then soon afterwards, we're running on 10 blocks per second, which is a massive game-changing deal. These tier ones exchanges, these all these exchanges, will highly likely start scrambling like a mouse to cheese to list Casper. I don't actually know why I use that metaphor. I don't understand that metaphor because mice actually hate cheese, but I think you get what I mean. Now, because of the rising evidence that I've just shown you, Binance, Google, Cryptographer, and the, the migration from Rust, understandably so, an imminent Binance spot listening for Casper is very much on the horizon. The speculation is rising and therefore Casper's price action is going heavily against the curve, against Bitcoin and basically the rest of the crypto market. Up 4.42% on the daily time frame now valued at 11.5 cents. It seems that another very bullish opportunity, a breakout for Casper seems on the horizon once again. And this one, in my opinion, is going to be the most violent one yet. But this Binance listing potential may not be the only new that is driving Casper's price because we also have updates, bullish updates regarding KRC20. And to keep up to date with all the latest Casper content, then please do me a solid, do me a favor, support the channel, like the video, share with your friends and subscribe for more because Shy has done it once again. This Twitter account, this Twitter page, no slander him whatsoever. He has done the very respectful and courageous thing because he had doubts about Casper's KLC20, which you're allowed to have, of course. He voiced them, 
But then he listened and read the replies like the ones from Shy, and then revoked his statement as we can see here. But he left the post up for people who want to understand, people who want to see and learn from Shy just like he did. He stated, I stand corrected in my flawed Casper assumption. I couldn't be more happy to be wrong though, as it seems that trading on the Casper network will be possible without smart contracts which is massive news. This would presumably shorten timelines to have an operable DEX on the Casper network much, much shorter. That is right. Shy, as we can see, completely squashed the FUD and helped teach the community, which is what is so great about the Casper developers like Shy and Michael Sutton, especially. You want to have Sobolinski as well, of course, he's the GOAT. But as Shy here confirmed, Chaos 20 will be functioning and operational and still game changing even without smart contracts you do not need them smart contract of course will make the network so much better but you do not need smart contracts for 99 percent of the application meaning the klc20 beta that is going to be released this month is even more bullish than we could possibly imagine for casper which again is why this next casper bull run this next Casper run even is likely to start very very soon the charts say so the research and developments say so for example, like even more miners are being built. Icefeather just announced today that new products are available. Icefeather KS5L, 11TH and 10TH. So even more miners are about to enter the Casper community and its timing couldn't have been any better in my opinion to incorporate more miners considering that just a day or two ago, the mining rewards for Casper were reduced once again to $110 with rust migration speeding up more and more and more, with miners, more miners entering the ecosystem, meaning we'll see an increase in the Casper hash rate, which in time will correlate to an increase in Casper's price, with KRC20 beta imminent and with speculation increasing and evidence surrounding Binance's imminent listing of Casper. Crypto's largest exchange as well. This is why you simply cannot sleep on Casper. The tier ones, in my opinion, are 100% eyeing up Casper. There's no doubt about it. And in just two days time, Jonathan Sompolinski, Casper's founder, will be speaking with Uphold, director of research Dr. Martin Heisberg at the institutional webinar. Institutions. So Casper is about to get some serious attention from the biggest, most important companies potentially in the whole world. This, of course, is why I am bullish on Casper. I know what I hold. And with all the bullish, bullish Casper I've showcased to you in this video, in my personal opinion, I still believe that this one is probably the most bullish out of the lot. Casper's about to be put on blast from Uphold, a respected exchange in front of institutions. Don't overlook how massive it's going to be for Casper with potential partnerships and connections in the future. So as always, you need to do your own research and don't be emotional. Be logical.